It's been very helpful. I, um, Heather um, filmed one of the dances yesterday so I could see people dancing. And I, I'm seeing what, what steps are difficult for people that haven't been doing world dance for a long time. So I'm going to be very conscious of that. So if I'm taking it simpler for newer people, the people who have been doing it a long time, remember, just stretch it out more. Don't just kind of go through the motions. I mean, really use your full body. The simplest steps can be the most thorough workout that we have. So don't think we have to be doing complicated things to be working out. The workout happens inside and with your consciousness of the steps, okay? So for advanced people, for beginning people, for people in the middle, you know, just adapt as we go. I'm doing my best to have it be good for everybody. So let's start with um, a little waltz rhythm. And this is a, a tune from Sweden. It's in Swedish. It's lovely. Here we go. steps that we do, but I'm going to try to keep it super simple. Uh, we're going to go hold one, two, three, just like in the bachata, one, two, three, touch, one, two, three, touch, one, two, three, touch, step together, step, touch, step together, step, touch, step together. So those of you who know this dance really well and know more steps to it, just do whatever you want. Do the other steps or do these steps and work on your core. Pull it all in. Throw back your shoulders. Lift up your chest. Like that. All right. A little bit of that side to side. And then we're going to go cross, touch, cross, touch, cross, touch. 
So don't worry about the arms. Just get that leg across, then touch out to the side. And cross and touch. And cross and touch. And cross and touch. You can take a little step, step, cross. Step, step, cross. Step, step, cross. Like we do in other dances. When I go like this, that sign is for this step. Cross, two, three, cross. Two, three, if you want to add the arms and down and up and all the way down and all the way up and down and up and down and up and down and up. So remember, we're keeping our hips facing forward. We're not turning to the side on these cross steps so that we get to work the inside of our hip, our whole hip contraction here. It's cross and uh, cross. So if you put your hands deep into your hips here, if you put your fingers into those muscles, you can feel them working and working. You can really put your fingers deep in there and you can feel keeping your hips forward and crossing your legs like that. And then we're gonna do just our usual touch and touch, I'm kind of crossing in front. Keep your hands there and feel the muscles working right here. Cross, 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 like that. I'm going touch and I'm pulling in my core and lifting my back and my arms come up all the way to the side, all the way to the top and then down. Like this and this and this and this and this and this and take them down however you want to take them down. Then we're going to go step, 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 and touch, and step, and step, and step, and touch. And you can do whatever fancy things with your arms you feel like, and here, and here, and here, and here, here, whatever you feel like doing with your arms like that. All right, and then our little, so for the new people, this is going to feel a little bit, a little bit tricky, but it's good for your brain. Anytime your brain's having to figure out what your body needs to do is super good for your brain and your body. So right leg, we're going to go forward, side, back, side, front. A forward, a side, one, two, three. Don't worry about the back, side, front. Just get three little steps in there. So we got forward, side, one, two, three, forward. Side, keep your hips to the forward, forward. Side, a back, two, three, a forward, a side, a back, two, three, and forward, and side. So, if you really want to, you know, stretch your leg out, nice and long, up with your body, lift up your back. A ba 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 da 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 Then we just sway and sway and sway. Just take, just take your body weight from one side to the other. Lead with your hip so it's nice and feel wonderful to your body. You're going to go with some beautiful music to the side. You can do it with a turn if you want. And a one, two, three. And a sway and sway. One, two, three. And like that, okay? All right, there's lots more steps, but let's keep it simple, all right? Engage your core nice and tall, relax your shoulders, and here we go. We have some beautiful tunes. This one you all know, it's a, it's a rag. It's a, it was made famous in The Sting, the movie, uh, but it's a ragtime dance. Here we go.
a little bit. This next tune um, is called Maintenant by Now in French, and it's from Michelle Ritterman. It's um, a group I didn't know about, Rupa, Rupa and the Angel and the, and the April Fishes. Rupa and the April Fishes. So this is a dance some of you recognize is recognize it as La Dernière Danse. We used to do this in in class with another artist. So here we go. Let's try it again. Tango. <clears throat> Thank you. 
everybody went. So when I jump off the carpet and onto the wood, that means, you know, it's time to just rock out. Or you can rock out during the entire hour. Nobody cares. But especially when I'm taking off the choreography and I'm just grooving, this is your chance. Maybe your whole life you have not been a person who dances around the house. Some of us have been since we were little. <laughs> And some of us have not been dancers around the house. So this is your chance to kind of get loose and get good and get groovy with, you know, kind of whatever tune comes on the radio and get yourself free, loosen yourself up, dance around the house, dance with your cats, dance with your dogs, get it going on. That's what your body is for. It is here to move, right? All right, let's, uh, let's take a little, um, kind of in the same group, but Stand By Me, this is a beautiful version of Stand By Me by Prince Royale and a little bit of salsa. So our basic salsa step with the right leg going back, back and together, forward and together, back and together, forward and together, back and together, and take it to the side, side and together, side and together, side and together, Side and to take it to the back, two, three, a back, two, three, a back, two, three, take it to the side, one, two, three, kick, one, two, three, kick, one, like that. All right, simple little steps. Ah. Sorry, I'm fighting with a jackhammer out here, so. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah, stand by me. versions. All right, let's take it back to that sway idea, letting the music just rock you. Don't think about anything. Don't think about a dance class. I mean, just let the music take you. This is a Booty Harlow, our local Santa Barbara fantastic drummer, who's taught many of the young folk in Santa Barbara African drumming. And uh, we'll just take a, 
a kind of a swing like this, then over the top and right and left, over to the side and side, over the top, side and side. Then we'll take it forward and a forward and a forward and a forward and like that. All right, depending on the rhythm, so we'll do a couple of sway tunes. So let's take it. This is a just an African, a West African rhythm with Booty Harlow. Here we go. Open 
tune. Isn't that gorgeous? That is from Belgium. Uh, let us move on to a little bit of a, a little bit of a, a little bit of reggae. Beautiful tune. If you are alone, that's what this song is about. This is from Teresa Singh brought us this song. Beautiful tune from Third World. All right, a little bit of salsa, a little bit of bounce. Here we go. Woo! sort of aerobic portion of the class. You know, I keep saying this is not an aerobics class, it's a dance class. And that's why some of the moves, certainly a lot of the rhythms are a little bit tricky, a little bit different than you've done before because we're learning how to dance here, not just kind of, not just do aerobics. So, but we do have a portion that will bring you back to your aerobics days, if you used to do that. With a flat head to the ceiling, stretch it from your toes to the heel of your hand. Really feel it through your stomach, through your chest, through your body, your whole body. So this is, you can make this the biggest workout move in the world, just like that. Then arms up, and we're gonna take opposite elbow to opposite knee. We're gonna go knee and knee. You don't have to touch them, just kind of get them in the general vicinity and knee. But remember, we're not going knee and knee. No, no, no. We're going lift, and lift, so watch my back. This is no down and down and down. We're not doing that. We're lifting up even your hands behind your head. And here and here and here. Pulling in your stomach, pulling up your torso. Then we take it back. So we have touch and touch and stretch, especially this hand that lifts up high. Focus on that one a little higher each time. See if you can touch the ceiling today, right? And then we can take it just foot to the back, but don't arch back. 
Pull yourself right up to the front, belly in, and go here and here and here. I'm taking my arms to the back of my head. I'm really working on my upper back. I'm trying to, you know, squeeze the lemon here. Sorry, it's a little camouflage today. Squeeze that lemon. All right, here we go in a couple different tempi speeds. Let's take a, yeah, let's go right ahead, Heather, to Jackson Brown here. Yeah, Jackson Brown. of these to get everybody in the sink in sync with their bodies then we're gonna count it down so you see the second time we did it we did it in eight one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight and then we can do it in four when you really know what you're doing all right let's do one more song like that I think I have another uh, um, yeah yeah this one from Scotland this is a great little <laughs> pop tune from Scotland 500 miles and I love it because you can, in the day, the line ends with you, and it's so Scottish. It's so you. <laughs> I love it. I'm a, I'm a goner for Scottish dialect. All right, here we go. So same dance. Lift it up, rev it up. Here we go.
that group. Can you hear the Scottish? Could you hear it? I just crack up because it's so aerobic to count, you know? And I, I'm sure some of you wish I counted more in the dances, but the thing is, we use different music every day and the different songs have different phrasing. So our steps kind of have to go with the way the music goes. That's why we don't usually count. All right, here we go with a, let's uh, pick it up a little bit. Yeah, let's, um, we'll take a little bit of Chuck Berry. Those of you who know the movie Pulp Fiction with John Travolta and Uma and that amazing dance scene. So go there in your imagination. You know, she's got the white shirt on and he's doing this thing and you know, they're trying to win the dance contest in the, in the oldies uh, cafe there. So let's go with that and do your own moves, do whatever you want and we'll see what we do. Here we go from Pulp Fiction and Chuck Berry. Here we go. <laughs> that dance uh, routine in a while. John Travolta, uh, what can you say? And Uma, man. Woo, Uma Thurman. John Travolta. Mm -mm -mm. All right, let's, uh, we got another little one that's kind of new. Jump in, it's uh, steps, you know, but uh, it's Henry Belafonte, and it's called Jump in the Line. And if we had a big, if we were all together, we'd be doing a conga line, but we're not. So uh, just follow me. We're going to have this step and Step together, step, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, 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 quick, quick, slow, slow, slow. So this is the ultimate syncopation. So if you're brand new to this, your brain is going to go like, what? And that's good. You, you want your brain to go, what? And then your brain to reconfigure itself and stretch it and move it in your brain. So here we go with slow and quick, quick, slow, slow and a quick quick slow and a slow and a quick quick slow and a one and a two a one two three and a one a two a one two three and a one and we'll do our little open box with a one two three four right left lead with the hip 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 use it up use that hip hip and hip and a hip and now i'm going to do this and what step is that right it's the cross two three cross 
cross, two, three, cross, two, three, cross, two, three, cross, like that, okay? We might do our little kick, step behind, kick, step, side, front, kick, like that. So if you're flummoxed by these moves are too complicated, just do whatever you feel like, but uh, hope you dig the music. And this is Harry Belafonte, jump in the line. Jump in the line. <clears throat>
everybody likes so much, we were recognizing the Supreme Court decision about DACA. Looks a little, uh, looks a little tenuous at this moment this week, but this tune is from uh, Las Cafeteras, a fabulous Latin group from East LA. Uh, and this is called Luna. Here we go, with a nice waltz to cool us down, open us up, relax all the way, just relax. Let the rhythm move you. Don't worry about anything. Just take that meditation of letting music wash through you. Take all away your thoughts. And everything is just the rhythm and the breath and your body moving along. And here we go. Las Cafeteras. <laughs> songs really they're the ones that do la bamba rebelde the rebel la bamba so this is a very unusual song for them to do this this ballad this beautiful ballad all right let's do our balancing so please grab a chair if you like to or anything else to to balance away with or not and get your get yourself oriented to how amazing it is to be alive just this day, don't worry about the rest of it, because we just have this moment on the earth, our funny, funny little animals called humans, which complicate things so much. Isn't it amazing how crazy it all gets? But you know, you can just look from a side and go, wow, human beings, mm -mm -mm, pretty crazy. But uh, it's also then just a gift that you get to be alive on this little lovely, lovely planet, this very exciting planet we're on. So let the energy from your life just travel through you all the way straight through up your, through your middle, through your spine, all the way up into the top and into the sky. Let it float. Let that energy, that, that thing, that life force, that thing that you feel like, hey, I'm alive. Let that just travel up through your body, lift your body. And when we balance, we'll just take a leg forward and that same leg goes back. If you want to put the toe down to regain your balance, that's fine or keep it up using your core to balance. Keep it right up here like that, all right? Opposite arms, if you feel like, find a place to focus on, take your breath, take it all nice and easy. You're just finding your body. This is just a moment of gratitude, all right? Attitude of gratitude right here, all right.
other side. And relax. Take your knee up and then to the back. Other side, big breath, relax, open it up, lift up. A little more, Heather, please. Take it to the back. Lift up your body again. Take those shoulders all the way back. Engaging your core. Pull it all back. Nice and tall. Lift out of your hip. Way up top. Little taller each time with each breath. And everybody take a big breath all together, all together. Let's do this together. Taking that positive, clean, bright energy together, letting everything go that is ego and individual and stuff, stuff, stuff. Just let it go. Bing! And everything that is together and bright and light and just pure life, breathe it in. Let everything else go. Your brain will agree with you and your brain will go with you in this endeavor. All right. Thank you so much for being in class with me today. I love it. I love seeing everybody every day. It's really incredible. We are so lucky. Thank you, Zoom. All right, grab your blanket and your towel and your stuff and kick off your shoes. And here we go. Round two. Big, huge gratitude festival happening right here in your own room. It's gratitude festival. Alrighty then. Oh, no cats. It's going to be nice and cool. Uh -huh. Alrighty then. Let's take it, lay down and relax. And if you want to wipe off your, I hope you have that cool towel that we're uh, bringing to class now. Wet, cold cloth. Really nice to have around. It really is like taking a 10 second shower. Love it. I've lived in places where there were no showers or anything, and that's how you take your shower, and it's very good. All right, so. All right, unwind your back there. Really give yourself a big party here. Your lower back, big party, big stretch. Don't go anywhere. Don't be thinking you're in a hurry unless you absolutely have to leave for work. But if you have time, which most of you do, right now, forget about everything else and really give your body some attention because uh, cause you know, oh my goodness, it's Inja and we have a new ritual starting. This is the other cat, Inja, Injangwe, which means cat in Rwandan. So I hope you've been giving yourself a massage this whole time I'm talking. Massage, yum, yum, yum. Hi, Inja, this is my lovely Inja. Yeah. Very sweet cat. All right, and take your both knees to the side gently and slowly, slowly, slowly. And they take to the t'other side, slowly, slowly. And just keep going back and forth or hold there, whatever works for you. You know, just to give your lower back a big, huge 
present. If you want, cross your legs when you get down there to increase a big, big stretch in your hip and your lower back. And other side, cross it out. Good job on remembering, Inja, that this is what we're doing. Wow. <laughs> All right, put your feet down and let's have a engaging your core here. Mm. Pull in that core all the way like you have a big sash around your waist and you're bringing it, collecting it. It doesn't matter what it's like on the outside. It's about what's deep inside, the core muscles being pulled with your own energy and your own force a little more each day. A few kegels, increasing that strength a little more every day and then bring your heels up one at a time. Oh, got bored. Sorry, cat. Uh -uh. Not enough petting going on, sorry. Up and down, slowly, 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 while engaging. Hold on this whole time, this whole time you're holding on with your core as your leg muscles are working. It's a very modest move, but it's a great, a great chance for your core to develop. Take both knees up if you can without straining your back. If you are straining your back, forget it, just take your heels down. But if you can lift your knees without straining your back, without arching your back, then take one heel at a time, like that. Pulling in your tummy, taking a nice big, big breath, opening up your lungs, expanding your lungs. And then bring one knee towards your chest and stretch that other leg and stretch out your feet Spread out your toesies, open up your arches, feel the balls of your feet, feel your Achilles tendon, work those Achilles. Let's stretch and flex right here, change legs. Stretch and flex, really feel that Achilles, that, that tendon right above your heel. You don't wanna mess with that baby. That gives you trouble, man, you're in trouble. You wanna keep that nice and healthy, keep it moving, keep it grooving. Open, flex and point, flex and point. Pull in your tummy, like that. Now really engage your core again and stretch out those legs. And if this is pulling up your lower back, then take it to the top, just like that, like you're riding a bike upside down, because why not? I'm working my feet, I'm pulling in my tummy. If you can take it down, super cool. Working my legs, working my feet working my ankles, working my core, all the way up, not working my neck. And then when you're ready, hold that position and stretch out the other arm and stretch and stretch and stretch and wind it around, open up your joints and other side, stretch, stretch, stretch a little more, roll those joints if you know what I mean. And the other side, stretch it and roll it Breathe it and squeeze it, squeeze your tummy, but don't squeeze your neck, relax your neck. Alrighty then, and bring your knees again to your chest and relax. Ah, roll it around. If that doesn't feel absolutely fantastic, I don't know what to tell you. All right, and let's take your feet down and bring that arch all the way up. Bring up those hips up to the ceiling nice and tall. Bring it up and up and up and up and up. Nice and tall. Squeeze your glutes like crazy from deep inside. Squeeze it, squeeze it. Feel all the cool parts of your butt muscles there squeezing. Bring it up. Bring your hips up to the sky. Bring those hips up, 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 up. And take it down while squeezing your glutes take it down relax it and squeeze it again and bring it up a little higher each time open up relax your neck and your shoulders take a big breath open up your lungs and take it down all the way squeeze 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 let go let go let go and squeeze again up 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 and take it down and then one more time, take it all the way up. And up and up and up. Yeah, all right, let it all go. Grab your knees and relax everything. Yeah, 
love being right here. The more you can be, it's a great place to be if you're lying around listening to the news or whatever you're doing. This is a, always a great place to relax and relax your lower back. All right, take that scarf and we got a little music. We got a little, stop it. What are you doing? We got a little, um, uh, 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 yeah, yeah. Crosby, Stills, and Nash, sorry. Yeah. All right, so let's go with your scarf. Don't strain your leg. Relax your entire leg. How relaxed can you get? That's your job. How relaxed can you get? Just using the scarf to move your leg. Let it go, put your ankle on your knee. Open your lower back. to uh, do 25 of something. I'm going to do 25 more push-ups. You could do 25 more, more a little bit of plank or stretching or leg lifts like this. You know, you can sit down and lift with your back straight, lifting up your leg a little bit, working out your quads. But this goes to Pamela Albert. She's having her, uh, she's having her surgery on Friday, but we're starting now. So let's do a little countdown again with the recovery guys and girls we have been putting it on anybody who can do 25 of something we are putting it on our youtube and on facebook to be with the champion recovery fitness who are doing uh doing all this to raise awareness about ptsd so a lot of collaborations but anyway here we go with 25 let's take it here we go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two 
in doing push-ups. If you're on a desert island and you can only do one exercise, it's a push-up. It really, it strengthens so much your core. I feel it mostly in my back and my core and my arms. And, but there are different levels. So you can start, you can start doing it with your butt up and just doing just a very simple thing like that. There's even one that's simpler than that. And then there's, there's lots of gradations of doing them. So um, I'm going to send out that link the next time I do a big Zoom email, e-blast. I have a link to a really nice, uh, something I sent to Jerry yesterday. It's a really nice explanation of the grades of, of uh, push-ups. I mean, if you can just do a few, it's great, you know? It's, but if you don't want to, do something else. That's cool. You know, whatever you want to do. Bring your pelvis forward while we're doing this. I know this is super tight for most people are like this. So at least just try to bring your back up, bring your chest up. It's a really great strengthening place here. And then you just want to open to where you can just stretch comfortably, open up these muscles that don't get stretched at all, except in our class probably. And then if you can lift up your arms, I'm really like squeezing that lemon back there in my back, really lifting it up for the end of our workout, really opening all those muscles that are all warm and ready to rock, ready to get into the day now. Bring it all the way up again for that strength in your back. Big breath. All righty, and then I like to take it feet together. I like to just kind of open up my hips. It just feels really good on my hip joints right here. And then settle it down right here. And then we do this move, we're taking a big breath. I'm pulling in my tummy, lifting up my chest, lifting up big, big breath. So the whole day feels, the kind of day merges with my life. You know, the day and the life and everything else, just forget about it. With a breath out. Breath in with all the positive energy and light from the day and the fact that we're all together here right now and let all the rest go. Boom. And then all the way in, and all the way out. And thank you, Sharon Kieran, for showing me this little move on the beach one day. And then I like to take it down a little bit here. Don't arch your back. That's not what we want to be doing when we're a little bit older, those of us. Taking it down, taking it down to a relaxed, quiet spot. And then slowly, slowly take it up with a straight back. Lifting up your head, lifting your breath slowly, slowly, so your brain can adjust from going down, slowly, to up. And if that's too squirrely for you, if that's too vertigo-ish, then obviously don't do it. But if you can do it, for me, it's like a cleansing. It's like a totally cleansing out, and all that's left is your breath and your life. And all the junk going on in your brain is, bye-bye. And then we take a minute together to just feel the life we've got going together here with a big, easy breath. All right. And thank you, Crosby, Stills, and Nash. That's a great song. Our own Crosby, Stills, and Nash from Santa Barbara, David Crosby. Yeah, uh-huh. All right, hope I'll see you tomorrow. Today is probably Wednesday. Who knows? Um, tomorrow's probably Thursday. I will hope to see you. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thank you, everybody.